Good morning, this is Donna with Gifted Energies, and I'm here to do an intuitive reading for Odette. Odette, thank you so much for your return business and for asking me to do another reading for you. Today we're doing a six card intuitive reading. You have asked me about a question that um, has been affecting you for 11 years. You've told me that this has to do with medical. I cannot by law give you any medical advice or prescribe anything to you. I can give you my intuitive guidance and my feelings on the matter with suggestions to follow up with your doctor. And what I'm going to do is to shuffle the deck until I feel an energy shift. I feel that the cards are ready to be read. Today I feel pretty good about the energy. I don't think we'll have to shuffle too much. We're using Doreen Virtue Angel, Angel Tarot deck. Beautiful deck. I love the ener energy that it gives off and the imagery. I work very well with this deck. And I feel that it will be the perfect deck for this reading. I'm just going to shuffle one more time and then we'll begin. The first card will focus on the heart of the matter. This is what has brought you here today. What has prompted your question? I'm just going to cut the deck. Now if a card comes up in the reverse format, just pay a little closer to what I have to say. Pay closer attention to what I have to say about the card. Um, pay closer attention to the imagery in the card. See if it speaks to you in a more personal manner. Usually a card that comes up in a reverse format just says pay closer attention to what it has to say. There's some significance there that you may not catch right away, but it may present itself um, in the near future. Again, the first card is the heart of the matter. And this is the Emperor, Archangel Michael. Organization and logic, structure and discipline, leadership. What I feel here is that whatever you're going through, th this issue that has been affecting you, you have really been trying to control it. Um, you see it as a nuisance and not, you don't embrace it and bring it in as part of your life. It's always something there hindering you. Controlling the issue, trying to fix the problem instead of focusing on what you can do to to manage and get along with the problem. Um, that that's been a conflict for you because you really want the issue to go away. You want it solved, and I really feel that you need to find a way to embrace it and to work with it and to understand that it it's. It may be there for the long term, but it's not going to always be the hindrance that you see it is now. There are ways to balance it in your life. Um, and I also feel that balance is key. The second card will open your eyes to your deepest desires. This is the best outcome that you see for yourself. This is what you really hope to achieve. Also realize that sometimes the subconscious comes into play here. And sometimes your subconscious desires override that of your, what is logical or what you think you want. Um, and I'll, I'll, I'll explain that as, as we go forth here. But the card that I've drawn is in the reverse format, so pay close attention to it. It is the sixth of air, and I'm just gonna place it in the right direction. I'm sorry about the glare that you see there. Things are looking up, the end of a difficult situation, taking a trip. This card tells me that you really, you just want this to be over with. You want this chapter of your life to be done. You don't want to deal with the problem anymore. You want to be whole, hearty, everything well, and you want to be able to go forth and live your life as if there was nothing wrong, as if nothing is holding you back. Um, 
you want to be rid of it. You want to get away and escape. And really, you don't want to deal with it anymore. Which is obvious. Um, I also feel that this is... This is what you feel on the out, outskirts of your, your conscious mind. I feel that there are some deeper feelings about the issue going on. Almost like... And this is an intuitive feeling. As if you feel like, well, this is, this is my due. This is what I deserve. And by feeling that way, you really are holding on to the pain and the problems and this issue that has been bothering you. You, you really, I feel that it's, the word that comes to mind is the issue is locked in your core. You're not letting go of the issue. Even though you want to be free of it, you want to live your life energetically, you're you're rooted to the problem in some in some way. But let's let's keep going and let's look at this just a little further on. And we come to card three. This is, shows me where you stand in the near future, what you can expect to play out. I would say within the next three to six months. Again, I have pulled a reverse card. Pay close attention to the words and what I have to say. The Ten of Fire. This is taking action. And Ten reads much like an Ace. It's something new. Um, it's a new beginning, a fresh start, but letting go of what is troubling you. Letting being free. The, the worst is over. Um, the card itself reads, reads that there's too much work. Accept help from others. Life is out of balance. Stress-related health concerns. Okay, this is very important. Focus. I feel that you should focus on that stress-related health concerns. Stress can be a big cause of what's going on in your life. Finding balance is very important. Um, I also feel that you're trying to control it. The, you're too, putting too much effort into trying to control it. And of course, we, we definitely want to, to keep things in, in check, but perhaps focus more on finding a balance with living with the issue. And as you find that balance and work through okay, this is part of my life. How can we make life better as it is? And focus on the positive there. I think you'll find that the symptoms you're dealing with may lessen. That stress of trying to fix the problem will also become less. And I feel very strongly about that. And I also feel that it has something to do with energy, holding on to it, grasping it deep within the core. And where I'm feeling this energy is right in that solar plexus chakra area, and right under the breast, in more of the gut and stomach area. Um, I'm also being told that you need to find your foundation. Plant, plant your feet firmly in the ground. This is just something that is coming through intuitively to me. Foundation, finding your foundation and planting your feet firmly in the ground. Knowing where you stand is very important. It will help you to get a better grasp on things. The fourth, the fourth card will show you what's influencing you um, in the near future, where you stand. Um, and just before I pull that card, I'm picking up on one other thing. When it comes to dealing with your, your doctors and dealing with anything health-related, relating your box, relating to your body. Trust your instincts. Trust what your body's telling you 
and make sure that your doctor listens to you about that. Doctors are great at trying to cover problems up and not fix them and medicating them and covering them up. At least they're also good at fixing problems too, but I, I have found in many cases medicating and over medicating is not necessarily good for you. Trust your instincts when it comes to taking medication. Trust what your body's telling you and then relate that to your doctor. Tell your doctor how it's affecting you, how you feel, your thoughts on this and explain to them what's going on. Don't leave anything out. If you have to, sit down and make a list. And I feel that planting your feet and standing firm to your foundation and, and standing your ground really has to do with how you communicate with your, your medical professional. So I'm gonna go ahead and go on to card four. Again, this is the influences that are strongest in your near future. What is going to affect you the most relating to this question? And this is the four of water. Missing an opportunity, discontentment, or boredom. Open your eyes to the possibilities. This really has to focus on emotions. And emotionally, I think that it's tied to standing your ground. That if you don't stand your ground, if you don't speak your thoughts, and you don't have that communication and be firm with your communication with your medical professional that you really feel that like I really should have done this I really should have said something I really could have gotten more attention paid to the issue had I just been firmer and been more aggressive with how I deal with the people who are trying to help me you are in control. This is your body. It is your life. Make sure that you understand that. And that even though they're there to help you, they don't know what's going on inside of you. You, you really need to express your own gut feelings about this. This is key in this reading. Card five is going to show what you can hope for. This is the best possible outcome. This this is what you have to look forward to if you continue down the road you're on. Um, I also want to say with the question you were asking me about medication, this, if you choose to go forward with um, speaking to your doctor about discontinuing this, um, I really feel that this is how it may affect you. This this card is really going to give you key answers to that question that you had. And this is the four of air. Time to rest or take a vacation. Allow more time before making a decision. Meditation may provide answers. Don't just make the decision. Make sure you know the facts. Make sure you speak to your medical professional and understand what the the risks are. Understand what complications may affect you if you do choose to stop this. Don't I wouldn't my own advice is at this time you may want to wait before discontinuing anything but of course speak to your medical provider first see what they have to say even seek a second opinion medically if you really feel this is what you should do but my advice and my intuitive feeling that timing is not right to stop give it a chance give it just a little longer proceed with what you're doing now. And I think through this rest and period of not trying to control and fight things that you're going to find a peace 
and I really suggest, as the card says, try some meditation. Inner focus. Try to let go of controlling the situation. That is one of the key words that keeps popping in my mind. I know I keep saying it over and over, but there has to, there's something that's going to click when I say trying to control something. I really feel that you'll understand what I'm saying and that controlling the situation has a strong effect on what's going on in your life. The sixth card will show you the best possible outcome. This is what you, you can expect. Um, what is actually the strongest possibility of what's going to happen if you continue down the road. Anything can change. As, as you make choices in your life, as, as a fork presents itself in the road and you, you go one direction, a whole reading can change. Nothing is written in stone and understand that you control your own destiny no matter what. So if you continue down your current path and you follow the guidance given, this is what you can expect, the outcome you can expect to look forward to. And this is life experience. Archangel Shamuel a significant life event, a powerful revelation that leads to change. Time to spread your rings. I really see this as a positive card. I really feel that there's going to be a shift in your life, something great. Um, and you're going to get this aha moment. I think the answer is going to come to you of what you need to do to help alleviate the problem and to help I can't really say that there is a cure for the problem. I don't feel that there's necessarily a cure, and I'm. this is my intuitive guidance, but I feel that the problem can get a lot better, and it can be something you can easily live with without it affecting your life to a point that you're not functioning in a normal manner. I feel that it's definitely something that is manageable and something that you can work around. But trying to control the situations and trying to control and fix it isn't necessarily the answer. Um, I think trying to live with it and make it manageable so that you can live a quality life and live life as you expect and hope to live, I think that that is a definite, definite outcome and possibility um, where it won't affect you as bad or where it may not even affect you at all. But the key is letting go. The key is not trying to control it. And I really feel through this reading, as you asked me if you should, for my guidance about stopping, one, speak to your medical professional. Only a medical professional can give you that advice. My intuitive feeling is that you should wait, that this is not the time to stop things. Give it a chance, give it a little longer, um, and continue doing what you're doing. But if you feel, tr trust your instincts, trust your body, if you feel that you need to stop this, speak to your speak to your doctor, speak to your medical professional, and be firm about what you feel and what you think. Don't let them try to tell you, oh no, th this is how, it, how it's going to be. They don't control your body, you do, and realize that. They can give you advice, they can definitely help you, but Remember, it's your, your life that you're living in your body. So be firm on your own thoughts and your own gut. Y your body will tell you what it needs. Also, if you can find time to meditate I, and really do some introspection, um, inner work, I think this will be key to finding answers as well. Um, and will give you key answers on how to manage the problem and deal with it, what steps to take, 
how you can handle things and live a quality life. Now I'm going to go ahead and shuffle the deck here. This is the Goddess Guidance deck. And this is just going to be additional guidance for you. What, what your guides and what the universe wants you to know about the situation. And the card I have drawn is Yemanya. Golden opportunity. Important doors are opening for you right now. Walk through them. I really feel that one, an opportunity is going to present itself. Not necessarily something that is to do with this medical situation that you're dealing with. It may be something that you feel is out of your comfort comfort zone. It may be something you're unsure of, but I really feel when that door opens, you're going to know about it. You're going to understand that, okay, it doesn't necessarily feel like something I want to do at the moment, but trust me, it, if it's an opportunity and you know it's an opportunity leading to better things, emotionally, this is where the trigger is going to be. The trigger is going to bring you joy, happiness. It's going to be a balm to the soul. This is going to be something very positive for you. Um, maybe even a retreat of some sort, getting away in, in some aspect. Um, if you have the opportunity to go somewhere, go, do it, experience it. It's going to be key to finding happiness. And through this happiness, I think that you're going to find that your problem lessens. As you find that joy within, as you spiritually become lifted up and you feel your energy levels, we all have reside at certain energy levels as we raise our vibrations. We get closer to enlightenment and finding balance in our life. And I think through finding that balance and finding that place of, it's like this aha, here I am, now I understand, that that's going to also bring key into finding relief through your problem. Don't let opportunities pass you by. Jump on them, take them, even if you're a little unsure about it. In this case, in the near future, if some, a door opens, I really feel that you should go ahead and walk through and see where it leads. Thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to do this reading for you. I hope that I've given you the guidance that you're seeking. If you have questions or if it's unclear to you of what I'm trying to say and trying to convey, please email me, message me through Etsy. I will be happy to clarify and go into greater detail for you. Brightest blessings and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.